Okay guys, now that I've pretended to walk around, we can finally start the video. The weather is starting to turn into shit, so let's just go home. Okay, so a lot of young YouTubers and young filmmakers always have this question whether or not they should go to film school. This video isn't about whether you should or not and if you already decided that you do want to go to film school and that's it, I have five tips before you start. The first one is the most simple one. Make movies, make videos, shoot everything, make video projects. Participate in any projects that anyone offers you. Offer your own help. Even if you think that you want to be the director or producer and you don't really care about sounds or light or anything, just do anything because in the end that will help you a lot. You'll learn more. Just being on the set helps you so much more. You'll learn a ton. Read a lot of books, read actual movie scripts, that's something I learned when I was only studying. Write your own stories, even if you're not gonna make them into movies or anything because you think they suck. Just keep practicing, keep doing a lot of creative work. Whatever it is, everything counts. Start your YouTube channel and make like even the shittiest videos. It's just, just keep making stuff and practice a lot. Make as much videos before you actually go to film school and they start asking you to make videos. Because in film school everyone already has done a lot of stuff and usually they wanna make these parties when they share stuff and all that crap. So you want to have something to show. Because if you think that's why I'm going to film school to learn how to make videos, uh, you're wrong. And that's where the tip number two starts. <sighs> tip number two is research, learn, study, know everything about movies. I went to film school straight out of high school. So I only had like the high school knowledge and shit and no one gives a fuck about that. Everyone is just checking how much stuff you know about movies and movie making. I, w I was sitting in the same class with like actual pro photographers who just needed a diploma and then there's me who doesn't really know anything about cameras and shit. That's why I think googling everything that you're actually curious about is a really good idea before you start. You want to be prepared. I, well, I just figured I don't need to know much stuff because that's why I'm going to film school, that's why I'm paying that much to learn. Oh boy, I was wrong. Everyone is comparing how much do they know and they're all quite snobby and they all want to be the best ones in the class and everything and you really don't want to be the one who's just starting to learn. Unfortunately, it's not that much about learning but mostly about who knows what more and that's something I wish I knew before I started going to film school. Even though I'm not using the full potential of my degree, I figured I could at least share my experiences to those who want to go to film school. Step number three is the easiest one and the most fun one. Watch movies. Watch all the movies in the world, but mostly watch the good ones. In most of the classes they use movies as an example, so you want to know what they're talking about. Most probably your professor is not gonna talk about teenage movies and party movies or romantic comedy movies. They're gonna use really good movies as an example. 
so you want to watch those as well. Start with the easiest thing, Google top 10 best directors and watch all of their number one movies. That's a good start, but that's still just a tiny bit. And TV shows most probably are not gonna do the trick. I watched a lot of TV shows when I was younger, before I went to film school, and all they talked about is big film directors. So you wanna know the best directors and you want to have at least your own taste in movies or or have your own favorite director. Watch old movies, watch black and white movies, watch something that actually made a difference at some point. You do want to be a movie snob. Wherever you're gonna go, you're gonna go to a party or you're gonna have drinks at a bar with your friends and all film students want to talk about is movies. All the professors want to talk about movies. Well, everyone just wants to talk about movies because you're in film school. The fourth one is most probably the most boring one, but it's very important. Before you go to film school or when you're starting studies, get a job at least part-time because film schools are very expensive and you definitely do not want to get a study loan because that's what I did and I think that was the biggest mistake. I didn't have a real job, I just did some freelance stuff just to have extra cash but I wish that I would have worked when I was studying so I could at least pay part of the study costs. Not only film school is expensive, but also all the gear and any project that you make, you're gonna have to spend some money. Of course you can make a movie without spending any money if you're really cheap. I once made a short film with just spending one pound, I'm gonna link it up here. Little student short films can actually go up to like at least thousand bucks. So you just wanna have extra cash. The tip number five and the last one is get your own camera and I mean get a camera that takes both photos and videos because I bought myself this handheld camera that was supposedly full HD but it looked like shit and I barely used it at all. You're gonna have to take a lot of pictures professionally with really good lights and all that shit but also you're gonna make a lot of movies and yeah of course film schools have equipment and stuff they don't have enough cameras for everyone I would advise getting like even the cheapest DSLR or a mirrorless camera or whatever that just takes both photos and videos my previous camera was a Canon 500D I think you could buy it on eBay for like 200 bucks or something with the kit lens and everything you're ready to go but you do want your own camera. I always had to borrow a camera from someone in for every project or for every freelance job that I got and that sucked a lot. I don't know how I managed to do it for two years until I got my own camera but even when the richest kids in the class are gonna start renting reds for their video projects and all the school equipment is gonna be already booked at least you'll have something to film. And something with a less good quality is better than nothing. So you could take num tip number four and number five together. You can get a, start getting a job or saving up money so you could get a camera before school. Buy all the camera equipment that you can or ask your parents to support you if they can. Because that guy who always has all the equipment also gets invited to all the coolest projects. Unfortunately that's how it works. I didn't write down the stuff that I'm gonna say in this video, so it might seem a bit out of place. I just wanted to say the things that I was thinking about, so sorry if it's a bit messy. I don't know if I can make a statement about whether or not you should go to film school. It's only been two years after my graduation, so who knows what's gonna happen next. Maybe this YouTube thing will kick off, I don't know, we'll see. I always like talking about movies and my film school experience, but my girlfriend's already a bit sick of it, so so if you want I can make more videos about this stuff. Just write down in the comments what do you think. I don't think you guys know how long it takes to make a video like this. I mean this coffee is already cold. Still tasty though. Probably there's a lot more things you can do before film school to get ready, but I think the most all the main tip is be prepared. 
Okay, I guess this is where I'm gonna end the video. I hope that the tips were useful and if you have your own tips, please write them down in the comment section and I'll put my heart thingy or the pin thingy in the comment section so everyone can see them. I almost forgot. I have to say thank you to another viewer and I think it's gonna be a YouTuber called It's Ye Boy Anaconda. I see you a lot in the comment section and I think you're serious about the whole YouTube thing so don't give up. Okay now that's finally it. I'm going away. I'll see you in the next video. See ya guys.